Good morning. I'm getting iller and iller. I don't know if you can tell, but my nose is clogged. I just, everything in the sinus area is happening right now. <laughs> I usually get like three to four colds per year because my body be hollering. <laughs> I've never had the flu in my life, never had any sort of really significant illness, but I get colds. If I even think about getting a cold, I get a cold. <laughs> But typically when those happen, I know my symptoms. I know it starts with my throat hurting really bad for a couple days, and then the rest of the symptoms kind of accumulate. <laughs> but surprisingly, I'm actually only really feeling it in my nose being clogged and like a little bit of not even a sore throat. It's just like uncomfortable. I don't know why I'm telling you about my illness, but I just hope that means that this is just like a smaller, not as serious thing because if this were one of my typical colds, I wouldn't be able to talk right now. Now, I wouldn't be able to swallow. I wouldn't be able to sleep. So we're doing good. I'm hoping for the best. <laughs> it is Christmas. So Merry Christmas, everybody. It's so weird to say that with like tropical stuff behind me. And it really doesn't feel like Christmas when I work at PetSmart because it's so stressful. But I want to talk about two things in this clip. So the first thing is I continued my audiobook. I'm listening to Hunting Prince Dracula by Carrie Maniscalco, which is the second book in the Stalking Jack the Ripper series. I'm currently on chapter 14 of 46 and I think that last time I checked that was around 30% so I'm making progress. A complaint I had in book one that's carrying over to this book is for a historical fiction book set in the 1880s these characters have such progressive views. And I'm not saying that those views are wrong because obviously it's stuff I agree with like women should be able to decide their own futures and women should be able to date women but the way that the characters talk about it is so ahead of their time to the point of like I don't want to say being historically inaccurate because who am I to say? <laughs> Who's to say? Were any of us there? But I just think it would fit better in a contemporary novel to make those points. I'm not mad that we have a lesbian side character and we're dealing with feminine topics but they're just done so blatantly like there's a scene where two girls are kissing it could have just been like that scene and we get that exposure to it and then Audra Rose is just like yeah that's fine I support that and then it was over but then the guy had to be like isn't it crazy how society thinks that they shouldn't be able to do that I support that full heartedly we shouldn't let politicians who are old and have traditional views say what we can't do I was like dude Girls kissing girls don't exist so that you can make a political scandal out of it. It wasn't that deep. <laughs> but I think it goes off on tangents like that every time there's a political discussion of anything. They'll be like, isn't this the worst about our society? I'm like, did they, did people think like that? In 1880, I don't think they really thought like that. And just small details like the main character being like, I'm not religious, but wouldn't she be? I don't know. Maybe I don't know what it's like to live in 1800s England because I'm neither English nor from 1880. But there's parts of the historical accuracy of this that just makes me do a double take. But despite that, it's just so darn fun to listen to. The flirting can be overly cheesy, but I just can't stop. It's so fun. The series is on audiobook on Scribd, and I will say that the audiobook narrator makes the narrator sound a little bit airheaded, but overall they're just fun. I'm probably gonna give this three or four stars, but I'm liking it. Nearing 3 a.m. I need to go to bed because Santa's not gonna come if I'm not asleep. God, I, I miss that life. <laughs> I debated not filming this because I literally can't breathe right now and I'm sweating. Breakfast. And there's breakfast. So I guess I'm not filming this. <laughs> <coughs> I'm feeling sicker and sicker as the day progresses to the point where I don't even want to talk. <laughs> I have to go to work in 50 minutes. That's going to be bundles of fun. But I want to give a highlight reel at least of stuff I got for Christmas because it's always my favorite videos to watch is what I got for Christmas. This year we had like 10 people at my house for Christmas so there was a lot of gift exchanging happening. Here's some of my faves that I received. My grandma got me a shower speaker so I can play music in the shower which is everything I want and more. Reese's which is always mandatory because favorite candy ever. I got a mini tripod for my camera so that I can have like a stabilizer or if I ever want to film like on a tabletop and it's not tall enough I don't have to keep making tripods out of books. My mom got me this cute dish towel with books and a kitty on it. As a late graduation present my sister got me the HP sprocket which like prints off pictures. I wanted this because I want to get pictures from my phone to go in my journal so now I have that. My sister also got me a Van Gogh calendar for 2019 which is so cute. My parents got me a new straightener because I need one that I can learn how to do curls with. And then I have 
makeup and body products galore. And I just spilled everything all over myself. Love that. I got a ColourPop highlighter. My favorite bronzer ever from NARS. My favorite body butters from the body shop. This one's coconut. This one's Shea. Dry shampoo, just you name it. They all spoiled me this year. Oh, also this pillow behind me. I got one so I can actually be comfortable in this bed. <laughs> but that's my main Christmas haul. Let me know what you got down below because I'm super nosy and I want to know. <laughs> oh my gosh, I really don't want to go to work. But if you call out on Christmas, you're like blacklisted. <laughs> At this point, I'm just like, fire me. I want you to fire me. I keep mistaking this micellar water as like my actual water bottle. I'm gonna chug this. I have body pain. Everything is so swollen that I can't take more than three sips before almost choking. And like I can't eat anything because I can't breathe out of my nose. So I have to like chew three times, then breathe, then chew three times and then breathe. And I, it just looks and sounds disgusting. So I'm on the struggle bus. It's not as bad as it could be, but it's, it's pretty bad. The thing that sucks about getting a bunch of like lotions and scented stuff for Christmas is that I can't smell any of it. <laughs> so I'll enjoy that in a week. I honestly just want to take a power nap right now, but it's, I'm just going to be crankier when I wake up. So I'm going to power through. Christmas high fives? <laughs> Yay, Christmas high fives. <laughs> One of the only good things about today is that it's no dress code day at PetSmart, so I'm wearing sweats. I don't have anything new to say in this clip other than I changed my shirt because I might as well rep a rainbow at PetSmart, if you know what I mean. Also, I'm vlogging with my new tripod, so is this a better angle? Do we get a better shot? I'm just excited to be able to vlog and not accidentally touch the mic trying to maneuver the camera different ways. Honestly, I should just take off this strap on my camera because it just makes clunky noises and I don't need it. Whoa, so this is like a four foot tripod. This is on the ground right now. Hey guys. Okay, I'm just messing around, bye. <laughs> I'm about to leave for work, but if you want to know what a summary of adulthood is, it's getting excited to bust open a new pair of socks that you got for Christmas to wear to work. I'm crying. Hi puppy. What are you doing? Hi other puppy. Hi. Puppies. We got some puppies. Yes, a wiggle puppy. We got puppies. Hey. It's a puppy, you got the knives. Wow, this tripod is changing my life. <laughs> I'm home from work. I don't know if I've vlogged since I've been home from work, but here we are. I'm still in my disgusting shirt. Much better. I got one last book that I got for Christmas that I need to haul, so let me get that real quick. Carrie and I exchanged wish li I can't talk. Carrie and I exchanged wish lists, and I got her a book, and she got me a book, and the one she got me came today. It's called This Will Be My Undoing by Morgan Jenkins, which is a book about feminism from a black author's perspective, talking about intersections of feminism, specifically black women, in a society that is white governed and white majority. So I really wanted to expand my feminist reading repertoire into more diverse selections because I've been reading a lot of Jessica Valenti and other <laughs> white authors so I wanted to make sure that I was getting all angles and not just sticking to my one little facet. That's everything. I do want to have an emo little outro to this vlog because it's the last one. Should I go outside with the kittens and do it there? Hi my mouse. Good mama.
You guys are getting so big. You've got lots of toes. I think you've got normal toes. I think you're normal down here too. Yeah, you've got normal toes. So just these two have polydactyl feet and the rest of y'all are normal. <laughs> They're getting so big and fat already. Mom is out and about to go get some dinner and take a stretch. Good my mom. I'm watching over babies for her. And we're back. <laughs> Don't sit on your babies. Here. <laughs> there you are. People keep asking which one I'm going to take and I really don't know. I don't really mind which gender and which color, but I want to know which one's the nicest one. Hold on, I have to show you this. This is so cute. What are you doing? <laughs> Baby, what was that? So I'm probably going to wait a couple weeks to see what their personalities are going to be like and which one likes me and which ones are the nicer ones, which ones are the shyer ones. But I did want to end off this vlog on a kind of emo note by just saying thanks for caring about me. <laughs> I did Vlogmas because I wanted to experiment with posting every day and especially because I knew my December 2018 was a big month. I wanted to be able to document all the different things that were going to be happening and it ended up being really fun to make and even though I was up until like 3 a.m. most nights editing and then uploading overnight. I was just so incredibly blown away by I would sit down and edit a vlog. Even in the vlog clips I would be like this is boring like I'm not saying anything. I don't know why you guys watch these. And there's so much positivity and good comments and people saying they're watching and they'll watch whatever I do and it was just so validating. So first I want to say if that's you if you watched every single episode of vlogmas hats off like thank you so much. From here on out it's gonna be a little rocky because I'm gonna be applying to so many jobs. Hubs. Hopefully I'm gonna stay in the same area so I'll be able to not have too much of a life change whenever I do get a job. I don't know why I'm talking to the camera as if I'm not ever gonna post on YouTube anymore but I just wanted to wrap this all up because it's the final vlogmas episode and say thank you all so 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 much for watching. It rocks that you guys enjoyed my content and I gained a lot of confidence from it. I love vlogging now. I used to be really nervous to do it and I have so many memories on tape or I guess recorded on YouTube to go back and watch whenever I'm older and reminisce. It's gonna be weird getting back to a sit-down video format because I feel like I do vlogs better than I do sit-down videos because sit-down videos seem way too formulaic whereas vlogs I feel like I can have more of my personality show and I can show you my life. These cats are so freaking adorable. I want every single one of you to come over and give them all kisses because look at this. 
They're like a painting. This is a Monet painting. I feel like if I keep talking, I'm just gonna keep talking and keep talking and keep talking. So that's the end of this vlog. That's the end of Vlogmas. I hope you're all having a wonderful life. Have a good 2019.